is part three of the tanker build for Fat Betty. So much for it being a one quick one day build, it's turning into a little build series. Which isn't a bad thing. It's entertaining. Well I find it is and hopefully you guys do too. Um, so we are up to. Off camera the other week, I wasn't too happy with the way the um, I was blowing out the, the sheep when I was butting up the, the end cap to the front of the tanker so what I did was I put some uh, concrete reinforcing rod um, from the concrete reinforcing mesh uh, around the circumference of the, the end of the tanker and tack that into place so then I can um, put the end cap up against that which will hopefully take some of the heat and give um, something for the weld to bite into. So um, I'm going to try that out for the back of the tanker and I'll probably bust the front cap off the, the tanker and do the same on the front. Uh, when I was researching the tanker I originally thought I was going to put the ladder on the back but having looked at screenshots from the movie the ladder is on the front of the tanker so I'll be taking the front cap off anyway so I can build a little ladder and uh, plug weld it from the back. I think, I don't know, because this is a make it as up as you go along build, I think I'm going to do it one way and then I end up doing it a different way, so um, yeah. So yeah, enough uh, chit chat, let's get on with this video.
So I was just thinking about um, capping this stuff here with some sheet metal and I just thought before I cover this up and put, put the end cap on the arse end of the tanker here it'd be a good time to do the top of the tanker so I've got some um, spice tins here that I've got that I thought would make little uh, nice little fuel tanks for semi trucks but one thing about it is they got these lids here and I think these lids will look good as the um, filling caps or whatever they're called on the top of the tanker so I've got three of these and um, So I'm going to put three of these along the, the top here as fillers. They're purely cosmetic but what I want to do is drill some holes and just wire them on probably and open them but I don't think I'll bother putting holes in there because I'm not going to fill this tanker. Um, get that done so I can still get my hands up under there to attach these. And the other thing I want to do is use this, this other piece of this um, chimney flue is, uh, I'm not sure what they call that thing along the top here, like a walkway or something, a tread um, maybe. So I'll cut this here, straighten it out. I'm kind of, it's all mangled up and twisted from when it was used. And I'm leaning towards leaving that as it is and not straightening it out and having it along the top here between these filler caps and make it leave it to look like it's all damaged and crushed and all that sort of thing just to help it look all menacing and old you know once it's rusted up it'll look good so I think what I'm going to do before I cap this tanker up is add this well first add those filler caps See if I can add this along the top. Um, and once I've got that on, then I can more seriously look at building the ladder to go on the front, because it's got to go up and onto the um, the wee walkway thing there for when they're filling the tanker. So um, I think I'll do some detailing on the top of the tanker before I cap the bottom. And then we can look at capping the bottom, attaching the fifth wheel coupler, and then lastly put the skirts and the wee um, storage facilities down there. So yeah, let's get on with that.
Okay, since that last uh, high speed or not time lapse clip, I've done a little bit more work on this off camera because it's all prep work and not very exciting. I've sanded down the the tanker, uh, with the flapper disc. I've made this cardboard template here to um, to fill in that space. But before I um, cut that out of sheet and tack that on, I'm going to have a go at welding this end cap on from the inside instead of busting it off. Uh, also I've got to sort out building a ladder and to go on the front of the tanker and I've made more progress on the, uh, I don't know what you call them, gang planks or something like that along the top of the um, tanker. They're getting there, they're nearly done and nearly ready to be welded onto the top of the tanker. So, do that in the next video. <clears throat> what else we got? That's the end, end cap of the tanker, and that's the, uh, the fifth wheel coupler. So, we've got a bunch of bits and pieces. Then, uh, once I've got that done, I'll be doing the uh, skirts for the bottom of the tanker. But that'll be in a future video. Alright, guys. Um, We'll catch you up on this build on the next video. Alright then, see you later.